Today we will see program 5 of unit 1. Open Visual Studio. Create new web application as we done in previous programs. Now as per program. Create a web page having checkbox list control shows different products. Web page should have a button and a label. Create new web form. Go the solution explorer. Right click on root. Then select add new item. Select visual C sharp as language and type as web form. You can change the name of the site as I am changing here as you want P5 then click on add. Go the design section. Add checkbox list from the toolbox. Now go the properties of checkbox list from items properties you can add items as you want to display it on screen. Click on add, then type item name in text and type items price in value. Add another one, you can add as many as you want. Ok. Now as per question add one button as submit and one label. Now as per requirement. And the click event of the button shows the message. Thank you for placing the order of following items and then list of all products selected by the user from the checkbox list server control. Each selected product should be displayed in the new line. Now go to u1p5.aspx.cs file. You can double click on the button or you can get this file by right click on u1p5.aspx then click on view code. Now write following code inside button one click event. To print item names. It means create one variable its type as string. Then use for loop to count in items in checkbox list. Then use if to check whether the item at particular index is selected or not. If it is selected then add it in S variable with proper formatting we can also print price of that item using checkbox list one dot items dot value then use BR tag for new line. Now, now after closing of loop use label 2 to print variable S with thank you message. Now you can debug the program. You can see if I select mouse and monitor and click on button then it is displaying its name with its value in new line.